Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you are interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below. I want to show you how you can make a watermark in Pixlr. This can be done online without having to install any software. So you can see here I have two copies of an image. And in this copy right here, I have our Web Tools logo um, in a, as a watermark there. So if I were to print this off or save this file and put it somewhere else, that logo would follow it. And it's kind of transparent there. You can see um, when I zoom in, you can see the blades of grass there through the logo. So it's got some transparency. It's not just a logo slapped on top of there. And uh, to do this, I'm going to do the same thing here with this copy of the same photo. So I've got my web tools logo here. I'm going to come and select it. And if you hit control A, that will select everything. Come over to uh, the image that you want to put it on and hit control. Oh, hold on. I didn't copy it. So I hit control A to select it and then control C to copy and come on over here, hit control V and now we've pasted it on. And all of these, uh, even though I'm using the key commands, if you forget the key commands, you can just use these right up here in the menu, copy, paste, and then select all. So keep that in mind. And the key commands are over here. If you're doing a lot of uh, work, um, I mean, any kind of work, really, copy and paste and select everything is really applicable. Anyway, you'll notice that um, when, I put, when I pasted this over, um, let me show you again. So I'll go ahead and uh, grab this here, delete that. So when I copy and then I come and before I paste it, notice in my layers up here, I only have one layer. When I paste it, now there's two layers. So um, I can, I basically added a layer here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. And now I have my logo. But of course, it's not transparent yet. To make it transparent, you're going to use your layers menu. So I'm going to come right up here in my uh, options here and uh, click on this slider. And then in the opacity, I'm going to just select about right in the middle. So you can use the opacity option um, or that slider, or you can come up here and just uh, type in numbers. So I'm going to type in just a 50 there. And now I have a transparent watermark. And if I print that photo out, that watermark will follow it. 